Wow. The only things running on the rails nowadays are those imposing military trains. Work has been stressful. I'm more than ready to take a break. Don't you think Tom is acting like a real big brother now? Maybe he's been reassessing how he thinks of Teddy and how to treat her. We haven't really been able to play since the Imperial Defense Force came here. Today's gonna be fun. What do you want to play, Teddy? I want to play make-believe. I'm a blue uniform year ready for when we both take classes in school. You mean we're pretending to be the branch campus and main campus students? Okay, sure, I'll make-believe with you. Well, I need to tell my mom to tell you to do it. I just kind of thought you might want to let loose and, whatever you want it, and do whatever you want for a bit. You're probably going crazy from being stuck inside all day. Okay, thank you so much, Tom. Zach, Cheryl, and Armin all look busy. I'm fine, but since Teddy didn't have anyone to play with, I thought she'd be lonely. So I decided I might as well look after her, that's all. You're usually never this nice to me. Okay, let's play at being military academy students all day today. All day today. Hi, Rachel. Cheryl told me you'd be stopping by today. Is there a plushie you wanted me to make for you? No, Zach told me you wanted to challenge me at Vantage Masters. Looks like we got set up. But this is perfect for me. Rachel handed over some penguin cookies wrapped up in colorful paper. You've been protecting my precious games from the Imperial Defense Force, right? Take these. Make sure you savor them. It's not like I make these every day, so be grateful. You know my taste well. This is really cute. Thank you, Rachel. I'll share them with my sister. I'm sure she'll love them, too. That's good to hear, bud. I made them for you. Part of me kind of wants you to eat them all yourself. Rachel? Okay, I get it. I'll happily dig in. Well, I guess that's it. Oh, we're not done yet. Don't forget that you promised to play, me, play Vantage Master with me today. But Cheryl and Zach just made that up. Stop making excuses. I rebuilt my deck especially for today's match. I don't want to waste all that hard work. Okay, okay, fine, but you'll have to teach me the rules. Is anyone in here? Well, look who's back. I was actually asking about how things were going for you. You've been through a lot, but I'm glad you were able to meet up with Prince Oliver again. How'd you know that already? Did Adele tell you? But that would mean... Now that you mentioned, I was kind of surprised by just how many of our friends were aboard the Courageous 2 when it showed up. I've known about the Courageous 2 for a while now, so I saw the opportunity I took the liberty of getting in touch with instructors Marion Makarov and her old classmates. Stark helped out as branch campus contact, too. That's incredible. I always knew she was pretty unflappable, but this... I've heard stories about her family, but she just puts the stories to shame. Not bad, Adele. Oh no, it was nothing. Anyhow, thanks to that, we managed to get the main campus kids dealt with. Took advantage of the confusion and put a stop to the Zomber Soldat training, too, so that's a plus. It really is. We're going to do our best to push back against the main campus and the IDF from here on. Of course, we can't ignore our preparations for that other operation, either. The key to making it work is getting everybody to play nice together. The other operation? Could you finally throw back the curtain on that one? You know the old field exercise camp in Sutherland. We've been putting together a little something there to help support you. You should go check on it if you have time. Will do, thanks. Sounds like Adel and the instructors have really been working together this whole time. You caught me right in, as I was in the middle of going over our plans with the instructors here. I've left the rest lodge and trustworthy hands, so you don't have to worry about that. Just remember, be careful out there. We were chatting about what we could do to help, and this little operation of ours came up. I assure you, we'll do everything in our power to make Operation Shining Steel a resounding success. There is a lot of people involved in Shining Steel, but our operation might get pretty sizable itself. I'm gonna be a bitch to keep on track, but I've gotta give it my all. There's something here. Oh, the jukebox. So I'm what's the star mark, but yeah. The one is clearly Adele wanting the superb dishes. We also have the bads. Eh, just for we'll give it a shot. Refreshing. Well, that was fast. like Rachel's out, so what are you doing here? Me and Cheryl are trying to get her and her, her brother and Rachel together. I mean, I don't really care about it. Other than you guys coming back, there's nothing fun going on. The whole town's kind of down. If Rachel and Marcus get closer, at least tease them about it might be fun. That's why I decided to help Cheryl. I see. Don't go overboard, alright? Yeah, 
Yeah, the crit rate I don't think affects the spells in any way, shape, or form, which is why I don't see the impermanence being really that great. Just the priest. Razors from the world have really been a blessing for us. They escort us to the areas where we harvest medic medicinal herbs and feed any violent monsters. We'll be able to harvest herbs in peace. I've been relying on Sister Rosine quite a lot since she first started, so now I'm soft with work now. However, I must perform my duties to the church so that we can save the people who leaves. Anything in the actual school building for us. Welcome to La Pomme Boutique. You're buying the register today? Yep, so if you're looking for my brother, he and Rachel are probably sitting in a tree. Why don't you get the feeling you're up to something? Hooded sweatshirt. <laughs> yeah, these kind of suck. I don't have any of these, and they're not too pricey. I'm gonna buy one of these and one of these just in case. I find Confuse much more problematic than Burn, which is why I'm giving that one priority. Burn, you got his draft, draft card at the same time I did. He's at the store right now giving the news to his family, but damn, they all look so miserable. My family congratulated me and pat me on the back, saying it was such an honor. They were thrilled. I might not make it back, even so, I'd be humbled to give my life for my country. Honestly, I just don't understand people like Barney sometimes. Ah, they left. Oh well. Let's go into Neo Suyan. Interesting, very interesting. That's an awful lot of Guardian sign in such a short time. It's not all, even the smaller fish are affected. The ecosystem is changing on a more or less every level. What's going on in Erebonian Crossbow? It's affecting these fish. Any idea, Rod? They say you're on par with the fishing baron, so if anyone might know, it's you. This does remind me of something. It was back when the fishing baron and I were just starting out. Just like all you, we started seeing changes in the wildlife we didn't understand. And in our investigations, we encountered the legendary fish set to appear at significant turning points in world history. I think I see where you're going with this. Yes, here on the brink of full-scale war with Calvert, the legendary fish must have appeared once more. It's likely called back into action by the fear and turmoil spreading across the Maria. We're in a lot deeper than I expected. The legendary fish that appears throughout history, we're in a lot deeper than I expected. I have to make sure everyone knows. Let's stay focused. We need to do it for Copen. My strange friend is obsessed with that fabled fish. Since the moment we heard about it, he's been pursued of that one big catch. Maybe you met him in your travels around the Empire. get a few more pieces of bait. There's no new legendary fish. Let's see, we're still missing the marble snakehead, the glutton shark. Who was that? Yeah, glutton shark. Okay, there's two fish we need to find somewhere. There's someone to play cards with over here. Ah, oh, it's Shira. There were lots of soldiers drafted from our own Grenville, so I thought maybe. Why do you have to get a draft card, Dad? I'm sorry, but there's nothing we can do about it now. I have to. I don't want to leave my girls. No, Dad, don't cry. You're going to make me cry, too. Please don't die, Dad. If you come home with everyone, ju with even just a scrape, I'll be so mad. Barney was drafted, too. Even though it's how things are, it's still very difficult. I can't believe Dad's getting drafted. I'll never forgive you if you die, Dad. I'm sorry, you shouldn't have had to see that. Everyone worries about their family, I feel your pain. Thank you for being so understanding. The instructors from the main campus are all at the dorm right now. You're close with them, so stop by and say hello. That wasn't all of them, but it was some. Instructor and I didn't notice. Yeah, I heard you received a draft card. Yes, just now. The war will begin soon, so I have to report to the conscription office in the next few days. I won't be here much longer. But I'm still the proprietor of Barney's for now, so if there's anything you need, just let me know. Thank you. He doesn't have the pancakes. Anyone upstairs? Just one. Yes, that's right. I'd like to check up on some of your clients. Really? You still have the internal documents? Thank you so much. That would be great. 
That's Inspector Reiner. Seems like he's in the middle of something. Maybe we should ask him what he's found out later. Or we could just sit there and listen in. Put your head up against his, so even if he doesn't immediately notice, he'll be creeped out when he does. Daddy, you're home. Welcome home, darling. Never imagined we'd be reunited so soon. It's because we finished up a certain a certain amount of transportation for the supplies. Since I borrowed the logistics unit, I have some free time before the war actually starts. Good, I was worried about whether you'd be okay. Armin's been taking care of me while you were gone. He's been doing the laundry and keeping the house tidy. He's really growing up. Yeah, but take care of Mommy just like I promised. I knew you could do it, Armin. I'm so proud of you. I have to leave again soon. You need to keep looking after Mommy for me, okay? Yeah, leave it to me. I can do the laundry now, Daddy. I'm so good at it. I put I pat the wrinkles up before I hang to dry. You're doing a great job, Armin. Keep it up, okay? Up until now, Armin was the one that needed looking after since his constitution was a little poor. Maybe my immune system was a little weakened by the stress. After all that, after all that, I ended up catching a cold. So disappointed myself for causing my Armin so much trouble, even though I am his mother. I can do laundry now, Daddy. I'm so good at it. Yeah, he just repeats that. So we have to hit up the mayor's house. Radio Trista is where Monk's request is. We're gonna hit that later. You guys are here too, huh? Hey, if you two are here, does that mean what I think it does? He looked like Lecter from a distance. Probably. We were on our way to Heimdall to check up on things there. On our way, we decided to take up a request to pick some medicinal herbs for the church and leaves. And we just happened to run into him. You guys know Sherzar and Agate? Why didn't you tell me sooner? I, I wanted to thank you. Ever since that day you found my wallet for me, I've been a changed man. That was the day I knew for sure. I'm gonna be a receptionist for the Bracer Guild someday. Glad to hear it. It's difficult for the guild to do anything in Erebonia, but if people like you aim to join, I'm sure it won't be that way for long. Give me your all, okay? I will. Thank you again. Seriously, though, if you want to be a receptionist, you better learn how to take care of yourself first. If you keep pushing yourself to your back gives out, you're not going to last long at the guild. Wow, you can tell I've been suffering from back pain? Amazing. Thank you so much for your advice, Sagan. I promise I won't push myself too hard. So Sherazar was the brace who inspired Frankie back then. Getting some words of encouragement straight from his idols must be a real thrill. Sherazar is amazing. Oh, but Agate is really cool, too. Wish I could introduce them to Mr. Celestin. Eh, Celestin's a nerd. Just don't push yourself too much. I'm sure you know this all too well by now. But the closer your friends are to you, the matter you make them when... The matter they get when you make them worry. Right, I heard you play Vantage Masters. I'm actually a pretty big fan myself. I've been getting together different decks and everything. You only gotta take a break every now and then, right? Help me face off sometime. It'd be my pleasure. Good answer. Don't go losing too easily now, got it? All I do is pick up his wall and take it back to him. Those with their sights set on joining the guild are all very welcome. It'd be great if there were more people like him. We'd be able to start up back in Erebonia again. So we'll test out the paladin here. She has the spirit. You sure you can take me? Yeah, I really don't mind going first against that card. <laughs> yeah, I'm cool with this. So she starts with five. So yeah, it goes into hyper mode at the end, but by then you can probably just blow it away. Yeah, I can drop the Kyrie Ball. So I can hit it now because it can't counterattack with one point, so we can get a pretty strong lead on turn one. <laughs> seriously lost 40% of its health. Okay, it's half dead. We have enough firepower out here to kill it next turn, too. She needs to summon some... Ooh, she's not doing it. 
so she did not do it. <laughs> well, let's end it. Ooh, another Kyrie Bell. I gotta do it, I gotta do it, I gotta do it. Yeah, I'm not gonna play around. Just end it and get to the next game. Looks like you've got a real knack for this. Three vanish cards. You so sure against you this card, I really me? do want to go first. This isn't really the greatest of hands. I'm going to keep it, though, because there are options for it. Yeah, the Blix is going to pay off here, man. <laughs> yeah, hit me with your best shot, bro. The Blix is more important than the Tarbis if they're going to be fielding Heaven cards. Extremely good position. And next turn I can summon. Okay, I was curious if it was gonna hit my back line, but it didn't. We can summon Curie Bell and start swinging. Probably summon both, actually. Looks like you've got yeah. a real knack for this. Paladin is definitely seeming a lot more overpowered than normal. So I'm kind of curious if I can beat on her for more U materials. I'm going to give it one try and then I will be back. Okay, once some U materials off her. I think I was at 98 before, now we are at 114. Not entering the Trista building, let's go into the bakery. Bakery, huh. How are things going in the capital? Everyone's excited about the war. They're all shining stuff like, woohoo, we'll finally put Calvary in its place. A lot of people showed up to support the troops when they moved out. It was like a parade. The entire city's caught up in this frenzy. I don't think the residents of Heimdall realize the gravity of the situation. The value of an Erebonian life and a Calvarian life is the same. Everyone's important to someone. Why can't they see how awful it is to take away someone's loved ones? Liza, I've been thinking the same thing. Something's got to be wrong in the capital right now. It was kind of insensitive of me not to think about Liza's fiancé. Like she says, people's lives are on the line, and you think about the war properly instead of just getting absorbed by the friends in the capital. So what they're referring there to is her quest of sorts in Cold Steel 3, where you have to do the scavenger hunt and find out the fiancé that left the letters for her died. Sorry, I got very serious all of a sudden. Please don't mind me, and take a look at the bread. They're right out of the oven, so they're crisp and warm. I'll take a salad. And here's your pancakes, folks. 
Okay, this is actually pretty nice. I'm assuming we can make it if we tried. Wrong thing. So yeah, six recipes left. And it's very possible some of these could be in like St. Ark or something. Fishing here, they can get nine new materials out of it. So I've been sure a while since the main camp students left. The town feels lonely with all the students and their noise. Now that we know that we're going to war, that's all people are talking about. Every day is making me so anxious. But if this is all it took to break my spirit, I wouldn't have been able to live for over fifty years. I think if later on I can't record, I'll try fishing just so I have a ton of new materials to play with. Do you remember my son, Frankie? When the main campus students left, he began rewaxing the entirety of the school building. His lower back really hurts from bending down for so long. I've given him one of my compresses to use the pain. Maybe because he's never really had a goal until recently, but he's putting everything he's gotten to making his dream a reality. I know he could be conscripted at any moment, but as his father, I want to support him as much as I can. Bracers, Agate, and Sherazar were just here. According to them, Lady Gisette is working hard to help you. Why couldn't you have told me the last time you visited? I'm really sorry about that. Don't worry, I know you're busy with the main campus students. We're really proud of you and all, and language that too. None of, you are, none of you are giving up, even if it means going against the government. Stay strong, I'll be praying for your safe return. No one's up there. I doubted there was, because Frankie we already ran into. Like, I wonder if they'll even let us in here, because there shouldn't be anything there. Everyone that might be there, we've already run into. And you know what, for old time's sake, I'm throw one in. Shut up, Elisa, I just cast the damn Come line. at me, fishes! You heard Got her. One. I won't let you off that easy. This is a Kongyu? This one's huge! No, that's not. I don't know if there's one side that they have here on. Got one! Not going without a fight, huh? This one's huge! You know, I'm gonna try the other side since Fee doesn't seem to know what a big fish actually is. Come at me, fishes! Got one! I won't let you off that oh easy. My God. On this pop stand. This one's huge! I genuinely don't give a damn about its size. I accidentally hit the help button. Please. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. we're not going to that one. West Lemaire. Field exercise camp. I hope there's not a quest here. Now this is what I call a photo op. The nigh immaculate sister Rosine, hard at work in a glittering airship, framed by a perfectly blue sky. At least you're trying to justify your attempts to take pictures of Rosine now. Other than that, you're just the same Rex we knew back at Thor's. But you know, even if you take pictures of them or copy, you can't exactly write about it. Well, if it isn't Toa. What if I get just one picture of you and maybe one that looks a little more adult? Adult? What do you mean by that? Rex, choose your next words very carefully. Hello, everyone. So this is where you were. I knew about the emergency landing, but I didn't expect you to find you here, Bridget. I came running as soon as I heard about what happened. The time we spent at Thor's meant a lot to me. I couldn't just ignore you in your time of need. Thank you so much, Bridget. We can use all the help we can get with these repairs. Leave it to me. Mint taught me a lot about horrible science. I'm actually rather handy. So these Skrull Sorter, was it? You've been with them this whole time, Rosine. I'd love to hear more about some of the work you've done. I'm afraid I'm not allowed to go into too much detail. That's okay. I know how things can be when you're sworn to secrecy. My help might be worth a story or two, don't you think? Looks like Bridget twisted her arm. She may not look like it, but she's quite the negotiator. Anyway, it's going to be real handy to have them recomp back in working order. Good luck with her repairs, girls. Thanks, we'll give it our best. Good luck to you two. I'll see you again soon, okay? It's encouraging to know Bridget will be working with us, and speaking of encouragements, the supplies just arrived from Ordis Cathedral. Seems like even the Archbishop is looking out for us. We're truly blessed. Thanks to all this, we can get the repairs started ahead of schedule. My support is not going to waver. No matter what happens with Rosine, she'll always be my friend. What's more, she does seem quite knowledgeable about the Empire's curse. Maybe you should go ask her about Alan later. 
I came running as soon as I heard. This isn't looking good. The engine and orbital energy system have sustained considerable damage. It's going to take a lot of time to repair. I see. The central heavenly chariot is fine, so getting things back to normal is definitely possible. Now that we're here, I'll dig deep and once again find the courage I know I have to get us through this. You can rest easy, I promise. Can we get inside it? Looks like... no. Oh, they do let you in. Is there anything in here, though? No issues with the manage and Heavenly Chariot. Bridge preparations are going well. That said, there are some specialized parts we need. I better contact the Foundation immediately and have some sent over. That's just the computer, I think. They actually let you out here? Huh. You can actually see the nerds down there and everything. So, next up we'll do Parm, I think. Eh, I'm just gonna bite the bowl and go to Ordus. Somebody in the hotel, so we'll steer clear. Further, there's some comments from the general complaints about the general public about the conscription numbers being excessive. It'd be a different story if there's some tiny skirmish they're preparing for, but this is Calvert we're talking about. Plan up perforce here is a no-brainer. Seeing families and friends on in front of the conscription office having tearful goodbyes really hurts to see. I mean, there's no guarantee that they'll even be able to come back from the war. I hope the higher-ups can sort things out before we get trapped in a protracted war. Those are the ones to fear. There's been complaints across town about the price jumps, and now they've gone just... Now they've just gone up yet again. Conscription's in full swing, the goods have marked for military use have doubled, and the number of capable farmers has plummeted. That kind of thing leads to market scarcity of products resulting in sudden price jumps. We're always being stronger by the stupid government. They knew full well what the conscription would result in. I've heard chatter of the Ordus nobles taking steps down the path leading us to war. I haven't come across too much regarding what the four great houses are up to, though. Can't imagine they're simply sitting by in silence. They could be operating in secret, right? We finally have the complete combat, combatant figures. It appear we've taken another step toward an actual war. As nobles, it's our duty to enact punishment for Calvert's disrespect towards His Majesty. I do detest cooperating with the Imperial government by making an exception. Keep our distance, yada yada. So, let's hit up these. Jacqueline's ice cream flavors are so delightful. Here I am, having been conscripted, I can't even do one thing I love shop. My life's in the toilet. But being able to eat something delicious, that always calms me down. It's like I'm in another world. Really pick me right up. I'm gonna go out there and do my best so I can get back to my beautiful, peaceful shopaholic ways. I have to say, you're looking a little gaunt if you let your dark thoughts, but look eventually the morphine something more wicked. Do me a favor, alright? Eat as much delicious food as you can. Take a nap every now and then. It'll do you a world of good. Eh, I don't think we need those. If there's no real future in maritime shipping, then how are we supposed to keep financially afloat? We'll drown at this rate. Honey, calm down, put yourself together. If you don't see yourself in a new direction, your family won't be able to support itself in the future. You think I don't know that? But knowledge and experience gained in the maritime shipping industry just doesn't translate anywhere else. I know I'm in deep water, but if I can't find a way to ensure my family's well-being... Even if we call in our so-called contacts, I don't see them being able to pull us out of our current situation. What are we to do? My husband seems to be completely lacking in confidence. Given how things are, I don't think we'll see much progress anytime soon. Feels like the overall quality of Clay's products is dropping a little. What's being sold here is hardly any different from emergency rations. The requisite seems pretty brutal as well. We don't need full-on luxury ingredients, but just some that are a little nicer than average. Rivier and Quarters always relied on their, context, their connection to nobles. It's a long-standing point of pride for them. Still, they're barely scraping by in their current location. A place like that calling out to customers would be nearly useless, wouldn't it? Passing out some kind of grand reopening pamphlet would be way more useful. That was nothing, just thinking aloud, that's all. See, so yeah, I think they charge one extra mirror for everything. A convenience fee or something, I guess. There's a new release section over there now. Let's see, how to send off a loved one and inheriting property without regrets. Not exactly the easiest section to look through right now. 
There's no doubt about the manager's skills. Everywhere you look these days, you'll find stores suffering from falling sales. It's a pretty pointless issue if you ask me. When it comes to sales, speed is everything. You gotta pick up on incoming trends before they even emerge and stock up early. That's how business works. That's a fact. A top-class merchant knows how to turn profit no matter the circumstances. And it requires some sharp sense to tell what's coming. Proverbs Eternity... Eh. Welcome, are you looking for anything specific? Oh, hang on, it's the Thor's kids. Guilty as charged. Look at you, the very picture of a happy shopkeeper. Don't give me that crap. An old friend visited my shop earlier and told me something interesting. They only that the Navy's getting mobilized, too. It's the reason behind the commotion at the harbor, apparently. Guess that means it's almost time for things to go down. Some of the friends I served with in the escort fleet are still in the Navy. Here's hoping they pull through this. Players in Cove have really been asserting themselves lately. Their power is growing, no mistake about it. I'd like to be charitable and chalk it up to business acumen, but I've been hearing some pretty nasty rumors. They say the company is cozying up to the government and military. If true, it would mean the business is practically highway robbery. The national mobilization law requires private companies to cooperate with the government, but things seem a little different with Clayston Co. Chills me to think they could have known from the start how profitable things would become, and cozy up to the government as a result. And we'll take a peek inside and see who's gone. So, something for Tita. All oh, should be left at the hotel, so we'll hop over to North Street. Angela, the thought of you actually being conscripted breaks my heart in two. You have to make it back home safe and sound no matter what. Don't overwork sending yourself out there, or get hurt, and also... Mom, Mom, you don't need to worry so much. Working for the Navy will hardly be any different from my plain old sailor gig. I'll come home to see you guys, just like always. Do you really mean it, Angela? Then you have to do a pinky swear. Of course, pinky swear, Luca. Don't you look so, don't look so down. Have I ever lied to you? Never, not even once. Okay, I believe you then. Just don't stay away too long, okay? Angela can do anything, I know it. He'll definitely come home. I believe in him no matter what. I'm so sorry, Mom. Look, I've done nothing but worry you the worry both of you worry you both this whole time. And here I've given you my word, when I don't even know if I can hold up to it. Why not make it out of this? But at least if you read that what I left behind, you should be alright without me. My Angela's been drafted. Somehow, somehow he has to make it home safely. Riviera Court's former building was turned into a conscription office about a week ago. Now there's a story about some history, what's some history behind it. It's been in business even since I was a wee one. I thought it would have been gone in such a shame, and after trying so hard to change too, they set a whole section with commoners' wants in mind and were, were, were much more welcoming overall. I've been hearing that they're going to kick back into full swing after they move. The new location is supposed to be over in the Harbor District, right? It might be worth stopping by. Eh, yeah, we'll do the kind of Gret thing real quick. I don't think anyone's home, but we'll see. Maybe they are. Yep. And it looks like just the three. It's a pleasure to see you all again. And likewise, Lady Suzanne, I'm glad to see you and the Count made it back here safely. Yes, yeah, all thanks to you and your daring plan. After you left, Master was able to conclude his business and return home without incident. I'm honored that you thought to visit, especially so soon after your eventful meeting between the three powers yesterday. I'm impressed by your timing right after the withdrawal of the Imperial Defense Force and Armor Division. Guessing you're one of the people we have to thank for the Courageous Two's timely appearance. Well, the particulars of his arrival are only revealed to me after the fact. Well, I'll begin while I was chatting with Marquis Hirams about a third path. We've been traveling around the more remote territories, building a coalition of nobles who support the more moderate way. It wasn't an easy trip, but allowed us to reconnect with old friends. That made it all worthwhile. In the process, the Guild reached out to us, and we've been passing information onto, the, onto His Highness ever since. So that's how the Courageous Two knew just when to arrive. Even your granddaughter didn't see that one coming. We, didn't have, we don't have much time left before the war breaks out, yet I believe you can open up that third path with the Courageous too. I'm expecting great things from all of you. Thank you. We'll do our best not to disappoint. Please come back here whenever you please. I'll have a steaming pot of tea ready for you. It's been so long since I was home. I want to take some time to relax. My collection of imports seems alright. Don't forget them if that Imperial Defense Force lays even a finger on you. I don't think he's joking. Our trip certainly wasn't the easiest, but the connections with friends old and new have made it worthwhile. By these circumstances, there's no path to completely avoiding danger. But I ask that you try and do as much as you can. Be vigilant out there. Bartolo had been taking care of the mansion, so everything seems to be in order. You're all come back here whenever you please. I'll have a steam pot of tea ready for you. Oh, 
Oh, you guys are Mr. Gret's Class 7 cohorts, aren't you? That's right, you're well acquainted with the music. I have memory serves. Long time no see. I mean to ask you, have you noticed anything out of the ordinary lately? Well, we're seeing resonance after being... We're seeing resin after resin being conscripted, for one thing. The noble faction's aiming to use the war to get their esteem back. If you ask me, they shouldn't count their chickens before they hatch. From what I heard, there are some of the noble faction cooperating with the Viceland army. But a vast number of nobles are tangled up in their own issues. You can bet they're keeping to themselves for now. Anyway, apart from that, it's pretty much business as usual. Well, it looks like they're back at the house now. They must have a whole lot to share with you. Go stop by when you have a moment, will you? You got it. Yeah, this one's pretty decent. Actually gives you EP back so you can fire off a spell real quick. 9,000's pretty decent. Yeah, we'll do Sea Breeze. There's, there could be another recipe in here. Actually, there's a way we... No. <laughs> I was hoping to, like, is there a blank in there? Because we know that it's in this section somewhere, but... Yeah, we couldn't get that lucky, could we? Hey, how about you add a passionate hot pot to my order? Come right up. Bianca's a real genuine kind of gal. Or is that supposed to be Blanca? I never remember. What you see is what you get. Makes for a good impression, you know? And these flavors never these flavors never let me down either. Not a single complaint to my heart about this joint. Seeing Edmund back safe and sound sure is a relief, even if it's just for the time being. Still, it's after you depart, things really get tough. Even now I can't help but feeling really anxious about it. On that note, we haven't been catching the same kinds of fish we normally do lately. That's kinda of worrying in itself. Looks like we'll need to find ourselves a new fishing area, otherwise we'll really be in trouble. Everything's just so out of sorts these days. You know, everyone around town's looking so depressed. It really drags you down. I mean, I definitely get how they feel, but wallowing around's not gonna help anyone. They say stormy seas are followed by a fine catch, right? Take me. I've been scripted too, but I bet if I take my feet in and hold my head up high, my own good, my own good fortune will roll in for me. It was so great seeing my dad again. I wish I could have been under better circumstances, though. All the cuties in the neighborhood getting conscripted has really thrown my quest for a boyfriend out the window. Come on, if I don't search my future bow, then what good will... What's going to motivate me to keep helping out with this place? I'm not asking for the perfect package, like some rich stud with eyes just for me. But isn't there at least one hot guy left? She certainly is enthusiastic, to put it one way. That guy there, he had a cute smile just now. His style's a bit crazy, but he seems pretty, hot and ni pretty nice and hot enough to make up for it. It's my chance. Okay, I got called away there, so I did some palm party while I couldn't record. Welcome, welcome, Eurydor. Or we even ship, slip in some extra fish stock just for you. It's not going to be easy, but I know I won't give up. I know what I want, and I'm not going to have to let it slip away. I swear someone's staring a hole at me right now. Right through me right now. So I guess even she's supposed to be getting tangled up in Reen's harem. Edmund, you're back. I didn't expect you to be sent here, be here so soon from the letter you sent me. Back I am. I decided to use my allotted vacation day so I could spend some time with my darling family. Means the clock's ticking down to your being sent off to a caliber, doesn't it? Off to war. It's true, and my deployment is going to be a long one. I'll probably be a wreck once it fully hits me, but I want to see my family's face. I want to see my family's face to try and drum up a little spear where I can. Well, are you surprised to see my new crew? Betty and Blanca are helping out while you're gone. Betty, you think the day would come when I'd see you tending the inn, smiling like a peach? I knew she had it in her. All it took was for her to actually give it a try. Betty really stepped up around here. I never saw her throw herself into work like this. As a father, nothing could make me happier. I believe my family really gets me, but knowing that she's working so hard gives me peace of mind I need. My husband's received some time off for offering his service to the Navy, so we've got some home. So we've got him home with us for a bit before he leaves for the war. I think it's really taking a weight off his shoulders to see the end thriving, even Betty helping around here. Yes, there is someone up here. You won't believe it. Danny actually proposed. He handed me this gorgeous bouquet and popped the question in. My heart hasn't raced this much since the summer festival. Kind of put on a show, you know, talking about the past, his past mistakes and missteps and how I don't need to rush my decision. You don't have to answer right away, of course, that sort of thing. Does he really think I could say no? Hardly. I made my decision ages ago. So he's been assigned a crossbell. He's doing all I can to stay tough. I wish I could offer him some encouragement. Maybe I'll head over right now and give him my answer. Another drink, if you will. Sure, here you go. Can we feel kicking and patching this bare body of mine back up? That's the stuff right there. I'm a big fan of Miranda's course, so this place is always so bright and cheery. I don't know if I spoke to Blanca or not. Looks like Bay's dad's gonna be home for a while, but she's completely absorbed in her never ending quest for a boyfriend. I think she has way more important things than that on her mind right now. So, after I stop off at the conscription office, I'm shipping off to the Naval Forces for training. Today's going to be a day for Gorgian, then. This is for stamina. For stamina! 
put them in the kitchen, the soldiers sure are for a real treat. They're gonna be a real happy bunch, I tell you that. Still, this place is this place is here at the tavern, no matter what else. People have stopped coming by to shop for flowers, and maybe I'm imagining things, but even the flowers have been looking sad lately. Guess I got up my game. I'll perk up our customers and the flowers for sure. I hear more and more gossip about people acting real strange these days. It's not all that shocking given the times we're in, but I can't help but be concerned. Just hope that Monique st stays safe through all this. I should hold on a second, those bottles. Yeah, I don't think I need those. I have better confused accessories like the one I just bought. So with that, we are done in this area, out into the Harbor District we go. Hopefully I can do all this before I have to go away. But yeah, this is going to be an interesting one to edit, I know. In July, Orta suffered a massive assault from Jaeger troops. We took a directive from a cannon and the Bolero's lighthouse was destroyed. Brigadier General Bardis has been making plans for it to be rebuilt. Governor Regnus has taken over those plans. It's progressing well and the groundbreaking has been scheduled for some time soon. Construction work should start soon. Everyone's relieved that the reconstruction's been approved. I know all the workers really well, so it's easy to give them instruction. I finally found the right path in life, and then I got conscripted. I wonder if I'll be able to find my way back after the war. If I do, I want to go back to the harbor management. I love seeing the happy faces of tourists enjoying a cruise. We managed to supply from Charlotte's father and get ourselves out of Raquel. Charlotte says she's not going back either. She's staying at the Sailor's Tavern for now. I know we can't go on like this forever. Sooner or later, I'm going to have to try to convince Charlotte's father I'm good enough for her. Welcome. Riviera Court is this way. Riviera Court has just been refurbished. Come take a look. Hello there, students of Thor's. Welcome back to Ordis. Looks like business is great. Heard that the military forced it to close. I guess they moved a location and set up shop again. Yep, it's all thanks to Lord Vincent, Lady Margarita, and some other generous benefactors. And then there was that other thing, right, Renny? I was really surprised myself. But today, Lady Fair suddenly turned up accompanied by Lord Vincent. And my, how they've grown so gallant in our time apart. Anyway, that's good to hear. I don't doubt she'll cause you worry in the future, too. It'll be alright. I have faith in Lady Ferris. She begged me to look after the store. She couldn't give me the details, but she said there was something she needed to do as part of Thor's. I can't believe how mature she's become, forging her own path through all this uncertainty. We promise that we'll do everything we can for Lady Ferris for when Lady Ferris comes home properly. So please do pop in. I look forward to it. Don't worry, we will. So the fairies just manage. I'm going to take my time and enjoy this. I'm so relieved that Lady Ferris is alright. It seems like Satrine's made up her mind, too. She said she wants to come back to work at this house. At the house. She decided to work as a staff member here at Riviera Court. I'm not going to be outdone. I'm going to pull my socks up. There are a lot of people who still don't know that our store has moved to the harbor. I promise ladies, I have to do my best. Welcome, Riviera Court is this way. Please pay a visit. We'll go in there later. Society is starting to stink of war. I heard that Yuda is dating a girl from a noble family. He just had to get all sloppy with a, way, with a girl way out of his class. A reckless decision like that's only going to hurt, end in hurt if you ask me. Guess when you're young, it's time to be foolish. I'm not going to run my mouth about it. I was hoping to let the war pass without getting involved, but then I got drafted. Go figure. Shit, never thought I'd have to go back to sea like this. Well, I guess I'll just have to get on with it. I'll read as much of the Imperial Chronicles as I can before I get sent away. So I'll finish my sixth read-through of the Imperial Chronicle. Lifting the containers up with a crane is a real test of nerves. If we make a mistake and a container falls in the sea, it's no big deal. I've heard a rumor that war is coming. This is no time to let up. Finally, I've been drafted. It would be an honor for me to contribute to the downfall of Calvary as part of the Navy. I'm excited to get started. The cargo just keeps coming. Now I get it. The root of all evil is that tanker. Why is there so much cargo? How functional can this thing be? This message should be so cool, but I'm starting to despise it. The guy who was doing the shipping work with me here also got drafted. The boats we use are very different from the Navy boats, so I don't really know what they expected from us. And I haven't heard a word about conscription. Do you think they've forgotten about me? There are more and more guys going down from exhaustion with all this lifting. I had to carry six people in the infirmary not too long ago, all at once, of course. It's real wake up for the muscles. Six people at the same time? Wish I could have seen that. Doc and Sammy and I collapsed due to anemia. Thought that guy was just a muscle, but he really thinks of his friends. Alright, let's give this a go. The majority of these containers contain food supplies. Wonder how many people they'll feed and for how long. These containers make me understand what war is going to mean for all of us. 
Can we actually go in here? Ooh, they let you. Anything down here? Just monsters. Out of curiosity, if I were to double tap one of these, what do I get? Yeah, not really worth it. I wonder if there's like a chest down there, which is why it's still available. That'd be the only thing that really makes sense to me. Okay, is there a recipe in here for us? I should probably just look and see if there's a list of the recipes by now. Don't ditch me, Dad. You ain't got nothing to worry about, kiddo. The lady next door said she'll take care of you while I'm gone. You're a tough girl. No way a little change is going to scare you, right? But I'll miss you. No matter what happens, if you're not around, I'll still miss you. What am I supposed to do when I want to see you? It's a tough question. How can I leave when she's asked me that? I have no whim, so I can make do no matter what. What am I supposed to do when I'm lonely? If it is a young green. Greetings, Ashen Chevalier. Branch Manager Certain, like L Lord Lake Lord. It's not often we, we see you two together. Indeed, we ran into each other not long ago. Both our investigations took us to orders at the same time. Curious coincidence, no? We were just discussing what we discovered. I think you may find it particularly interesting, Chevalier. Really? The shadow of a giant fish was spotted in a the sea cave on the Oros Coastal Road. From the eyewitness reports, it's likely some species of giant swordfish. No doubt it'll prove a feisty opponent. If you're any kind of fisherman at all, I'm sure you'll. I'm sure this must pique your interest a little. Since you're in the area, perhaps you should take a look for yourself. Not exactly a pro, but it does sound like it's worth checking out. Thank you, I might look into it later. I remember the Oros Coastal Road. Before we proceed, there's something I'd like to discuss. Of course, what is it? First of all, I must commend you on all your hard work with the survey into the environmental changes. Hard as it is to admit, you've proven your skills to be on par with the club's own Elite Four. It is only through your talent that we've been able to start drawing up distribution charts ahead of schedule. Great to hear, I suppose all the hard work has really paid off. I really cannot thank you enough for everything you've done. I am in your debt. Don't mention we share the same love for fishing. What's the point in keeping score? Everyone was just what we felt was right, as fellow anglers. What a very poetic way of putting it. Fellow anglers, hmm? It's been far too long since I truly felt that way. Looks like the Fisherman's Guild and the Imperial Fishing Club might be able to patch things up after all. Every time I fished since taking my position at the head of the Lake Lord Company, it felt as though I was doing so for work. But to be frank, it's less important for me to be president of the Lake Lord Company than a man who fishes for pure love of fishing, a man like him. And he just sells fishing stuff. Go figure, right? It's an honor to hear that from Lake Lord II. The investigation is almost complete. Let's get out there and with this refreshed mindset and finish things up. I used to party here with Durbin and the others all the time, but now they've all gone and been drafted. Coming here when there are so few sailors, it really makes the loneliness set in. Okay, best I, I guess I better get going. Miranda, Charlotte, take care of yourselves. If you get in any kind of trouble, just send us a letter, alright? I'm sure we can do something to help. Roach, I don't know what I should say. Come back once the war's over, okay? Of course, you don't need to tell me. You better be able to carry multiple trays with one hand when I get back, too. Why don't you teach me again when you're back? You two have really gotten close, huh? Couldn't keep this place open without cool, reliable workers like you, Roach. So don't get lost in sea or anything like that, alright? Randa, I'll come back safe, I promise. Charlotte's already a full-fledged waitress, but since she's so honest when she asks about things, I can't help but want to tease her sometimes. But, man, oh man, I can't believe Miranda thinks I'm cool. I'm unreliable. I have to do my part and get back to this place as soon as I can. It sure will be lonely now that even Roach is leaving. I guess it's my job to believe in my friends return when they're gone. I'm gonna send him off with a smile. He'll definitely come home safely. Yeah, we already own some of those. I finally managed to get away from Father and Lothar, but now Ro Roach has to leave. Nobles are getting called for military service too, but at least they have some kind of training. It makes one realize how truly precious these peaceful days were before a war was declared. Okay, to Riviera Court we go, and I will be running low on time. So, I don't know, I may just whip out the Palm Party thing and play that until I get the phone call. Well met, my friends. I trust you've been keeping well. I want to apologize for all the trouble. You're in the choice. I never kept you in the dark for so long. Please forgive me. Lady Ferris, please. There's no need for all that. That's right. You have nothing to apologize for. Just being able to see you alive and well is enough for us. You were really worried about me, weren't you? Well, of course they were, Ferris, because they care about you and Vincent. We all do. I had noticed you there. I take it you started touring around different parts of the Empire. Yeah, there's some things we need to get done before the next rivalry. I heard you two are planning to do some traveling as well. 
That is correct. We've already dropped by the family home and got permission from Father. After we confirm the situation within the city, we plan to visit the Merkaba, the main emergency landing down the main, near the main road. We'd be very grateful if you did, thanks. Until now, our options have been limited, but from now on, we plan to do everything we can as members of Thor's. Then consider us members of Thor's, too. Right, our business may take a hit, but that's a small sacrifice in the face of everything that's going on. Lady Ferris, if there's anything you need, just say the word. Thank you very much, but we're only planning on checking up on things. We certainly never intended to take any of your stock. Though naturally, we will not turn down any help you would offer us. We want to help. Though not many, we are overstocked on certain supplies. If you'll wait a moment, I can compile a comprehensive list. They sure are devoted to the florals. Makes sense, though. Rivera's court's been through a lot, but they've given them hope. When Patrick and I rushed to Ordis, we weren't able to reveal what we were up to. It was a nice to see you all again under better circumstances. We need to do all we can to support the Courageous too from here on out. That being said, I'm worried that the Merkaba, after its emergency landing, we should go probably go check on it. Ferris took on a managerial role for over half a year, battling tooth and nail against the machinations of Clay's Mall. It's no wonder her employees would all respect her. Regardless, the die has now been cast. The time is nigh for a wee floral siblings to make our move as well. Though I don't know the details, it seems someone's made an emergency landing on the main road. I can certainly I certainly can't ignore this as a seller of medicine. I absolutely must insist on providing some, some products that are not low in stock. Lady Ferris, Lord Vincent, what a pleasure this is. Even with everything the store's been through, we won't falter. I'll work extra diligently to repay the faith you put in me. Pegasus Fest. So it sounds cool, but it's rather weak. <laughs> but we do have a gift for Emma. So actually, you know what? Before... What am I missing here? That one I knew about, that one we knew Oh, whoa, we missed Strauss? Glad I opened this. Oh, uh, hi. You've caught us at an awkward kind of moment. What's the matter? Nothing to make a big deal out of. It's just that Luther's received an order from the, appeal from the military to present himself or work as a technician for them. I see. Looks like the commandeering of technicians and engineers is continuing in all areas. Orders is no different. I recently heard some gruesome stories about Grandpa's experience with war. They really left me trembling, and it seems all of that made me lose my composure a little when, they, when, the, when the notice came. If it really bothers you so much, just ignore it. It's what I do. That's something that only you can do, Grandpa. I think I'm improperly wielding the authority given to me along with the Golden Emblem. But that has nothing to do with this. When you're an adult, you determine your own course in life. You're so blunt, Grandpa. This is hard to watch, though he does have a point. He reminds me of Professor Schmidt in a way. Grandpa's always the same no matter what happens. I find that comforting, though it does make me a little sad how he hasn't at least been worried about me. And then we're starting to get a nice little pile again. And we do have something for Yuna. Is it no, first I my hopes were up for a second there thinking, is this finally it? But nope, that's not the right coin. Our coin's in a different shop, I'm afraid. Luther will be fine. We go we've all got the right to choose the path we walk in life. More pressingly, it looks like someone bought a brought out a Panzer Soldat, Kyan's Mansion, huh? We're doing a number on the glasswork pieces there. So many were cracked and broken to bits. All that beauty shattered. Why do people have to treat my work so rough? Why catch up with whatever asshole did this? Defense, Imperial Defense Force or not, there's going to be hell to pay. We end up having to bring out the Divine Nine. It's probably best we don't touch on this topic. Okay. So the Business District has the Hotel. Noble District we know about. I'm going to hop over to... The courageous, we're gonna give the items away and then I'm gonna stop for a moment. So, Aries locket for Yuna. Wow, this locket is so beautiful, I've never seen one like it. Are you sure I can have this? Of course, I thought it'd suit you perfectly. You can give it a picture of someone you really love inside to carry them around with you. It's very thoughtful of you, thanks. I'm gonna tuck a picture away in here, then I'll put one of Ken and Nana. Anyway, thanks again, it really, it really is a wonderful gift. It'll be my little treasure from now on. Glad you like it. Wow, I'm not sure I can pull off wearing such a gorgeous necklace. Nonsense. I know this isn't your usual style, but I'm, I was certain it would suit you the moment I saw it. So please, try it on. If you insist. I don't mean to give you the wrong impression, Reed. I couldn't be happy to receive such a lovely gift. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Pleasure's mine. Green, these earrings are beautiful. You think so? The second I saw them, I just knew they'd look perfect on you. You're too kind, I don't know what to say. I'll save them for special occasions. I'll be looking forward to seeing you with them on. Those stats don't help Green, but they are amazing for Emma. 
I love the scent of this perfume, and the bottle it comes in a so ornate, what an exquisite gift ring. I tried to pick something you might like. I didn't go too overboard with it, did I? Not at all, I'm so happy that you thought of me. Although I doubt I have the charm to match an allure, such an alluring fragrance. I'll have to make an effort to become a proper lady that you'll hopelessly fall for. You're not lacking the charm department, take my word for it. Looks like I managed to bring a smile to your face with this gift, that made my day too. Eh. For uses. What do we have here? A hunting cap. It's very well made and stylish to boot. Not the most enthusiastic reaction, but I'll take it. Think you'll get some use out of it? Definitely. Once things calm down, would you like to go hunting with me and my falcon? I'll think of something to give you in return by then. Sure, that'd be fantastic. I'll be looking forward to it. Strength and Arts. Tita. Can't believe it, it's the new type of mechanic goggles I wanted so much. How'd you know? Well, actually, I didn't know. I guess I lucked out. Got the free use of token of gratitude for all your help. It's very nice of you, thank you. Let's see if I have anything I can give you. Blast gloves. ZCF made mechanic gloves. They're still a prototype, but they might come in handy, no pun intended. I really wasn't expecting anything back, thanks, Tina. And this is for Rosalia. Reams contact via Arcus 2. The donut cushion has proven to be a fine gift indeed. Not only am I able to gaze upon one of the most delectable foods in the world anytime I wish, but I'm also embraced by the perfect plushiness when I hug her sit on it. I quite love it. I'm glad to hear it. I had no idea she loved a novelty cushion this much. I must give you a gift of similar value in return. Please take this. Rose and crown. Some kind of magical accessory from Aaron? Indeed, it amplifies mana. May it serve you well. Thanks so much, Rosalia. So, let's check out what we just got. They're probably reading only, I assume. No. Okay, that can be pretty nasty on the right hands. <laughs> okay, that's going on Emma. So, since we get stats immunity from the Grail Locket, this is purely art stuff. There we go. So, Elliot, we're going to slide over to him. This... The Still Blue is an improvement over the Ice Talisman. It protects against the same stuff. We lose speed, we get a lot of arts. So yeah, with that, I am going to take a break. When we pick up, we will be going back to uh, Ordis. Okay, let's pick up where we left off. We need to go into the Noble District... What are you all doing here? We have a war in our hands. It's the time to volunteer, not to be frolicking about. I, of course, have been cooperating to my fullest ability. Look closely at the tankers being loaded at the base. Several of those are mine. Given that cargo ships are in such short supply, I loaned mine out, I loaned mine out to the Navy. Oh, Miss Lillabelle, I see you've been at hard at work trying to help your parents. You've truly grown up so much. Not that you don't need any of my help anymore. It makes me feel a little sad. It's my back again. Keeping this up is going to be tough. If I can get through it, I have to look after the young mess through thick and thin. Mommy, this is for you. As a special friends again, keep on. You and Daddy can make up with, again with this. Oh my, thank you very much, dear. But you know Daddy and I haven't fallen out. Are you sure? Of course, I wouldn't lie to you, my sweet little Belle. We were discussing something, and perhaps I might have gotten a little carried away. We'll talk it over when he returns. Okay, you better do it right, Mommy. Of course, sweetie. Oliver helped me out, helped me when I was making invites for the summer festival, but I did it all by myself today. I'm glad Mommy liked it. I think it was a success, right? Time to celebrate. Lillabelle has been really getting worried. I may have been a little overly harsh with my words lately. I'll have to talk it over with my husband when he returns. Dang it. Ah, he's not even up here. <laughs> well, that was fast. Spoke to him. It can't be. Heathcliff has been sent to war? I happened over here. Apparently he was following the will of his current head of house. He used to be a liaison officer at Crossbell. I'm truly surprised as well as there was no sign of him doing something like this before. Heathcliff, you decided to bring it up to me before it was cowardly, didn't you? I've decided. I'm going after Heathcliff. What do you say, my lady? Hasn't he already joined up? If I ended up never seeing him again, I would regret it for the rest of my life. Don't you see, Hawkins? I have to do this. Don't try to stop me. As usual, when it comes to that gentleman, you become most earnest, my lady. You leave me with no choice. If your mind is set on this course of action, I will offer you whatever assistance I can. Thank you. And they just repeat that. There's something over there. 
Notice it's a star, not an exclamation point, so we know it's not a side quest or anything. I expect this to be crawling with people. It's up there, but it's not too bad. This coming war is going to be far greater than any conflict we've ever seen, the Civil War included. I feel so uneasy whenever I think of the future. I come to church to find some peace and to stop myself from subjecting my daughter to my apprehensions. Hey, have you heard of the Lance Maiden? They say she's the super strong, super cool lady knight who ended something called the War Lions. Neat, huh? When I grew up, I want to be just like her. Down to the whole undead part, too, I assume. I knew that the scale of the conflict would be large, but I didn't expect it to be all so encompassing. Where things always headed at this point, we're going to have to act with great care from here on, and I too must aid those who have lost their way. Really, the neighboring states are taking action. That's what I've heard anyway. If it's true, then who knows what'll happen. There is no telling who will win this war now, or even how long it could end up lasting. And yet, as ordinary citizens, will suffer the most for this. Indeed. The Septian Church is communicating with its various branches in secret. By using our resources and information, we are trying to improve the lives of the people, even if only a little. Mysterious phantom flowers and fiends have started to appear frequently in the area, here in La Mer. There are even reports of demons like the ones in the scriptures. The girls are doing what they can, but we must try to prevent, from, prevent people from being caught up in the chaos. I didn't mean to speak to him again. There's been some sort of incident at the holy city of Arteria, the seat of the Septian Church. The Grailsford is also working in earnest, albeit independently from the actions taken by the Papal Guard. All throughout the ages, the same conflict over the sacraments of Adios perpetrates itself time and again. Worry not. Pay, no, pay my musings no mind. No matter the era, the will, rule of the Church will never change. We must pray to Adios for the well-being of our loved ones. The sacraments of Adios. The story of the Septarians is recorded in the scriptures of the Septian Church. Maybe there's something we can learn from it. Did I actually talk to these guys twice? I don't remember. Being a member of the nobility carries a lot of responsibility. Losing our way at some point is inevitable, I'm afraid. Our burns weigh heavier than ever during this turning turn point in history. Offering some advice is all I can do. So the neighboring provinces are acting covertly. Still, what do we do? Do we join the government side, or...? Well, shall we set off to towns in the south to perform the mass for them? Wait a second. Wait a minute, I haven't taken my cookies to the Cayenne Estate yet. I haven't put enough sugar in today, so I have to start over. So that's what you've been busying yourself doing, Sister Sienna. I'm sorry, when I think of the poor Empress, I can't stand around twiddling my thumbs. And hey, my daily cookie deliveries actually did some good. Those annoying Imperial Defense Force jerks admitted defeat and left. I don't know where to start. Anyway, we normally don't intervene in secular matters. At least ask the Archbishop for permission before you go again. Okay, I'll ask him right now. I baked a, a boatload of cookies so we could hand them out to all the faithful down south. Guess I should have cleared it with the Archbishop first, though. I'll go ask him about it now. Maybe we spoiled Sister Sienna, but there are worse things, I think. Her cheery nature is a blessing in these grim times. I think we can overlook it. I contacted Chief Warrant Officer Brighton in Heimdall. He was tough but motivating. There's a lot happening, but he asked me to make sure I fulfill my duties as thoroughly as possible. Looks like the anti calvert protests and rallies in Heimdall are reaching frenzy levels. Chief Warrant Officer Brighton must be having a really rough time out there. I'll do everything I can here so that I can proudly say I'm one of his subordinates. Okay, that is everything here. We have to go to Orox for the fish. Don't worry about that later. Hey, you guys! The Governor has ordered us to allow honored guests to pass through. If you have any business here, feel free to go on through. In short, it means that we're free to come and go. I'd like to give my regards. Should we drop in? So now we can go to the Duke's mansion. We have orders to allow guests to access as much as possible. Well, that's the situation. Don't hold back too much there. So before we talk to him... The Empress is smiling again. I feel like I haven't seen her smile much at all lately. As someone here employing a citizen of the Empire, I'm absolutely overjoyed. So, can we actually go over here or no? Nothing that way. There was a skirmish between Panzer Solettes in here a few days ago. They absolutely ruined my pristine shiny floor with dozens and dozens of scratches. But I've gone through loads of wax to get it back in shape and it's almost reached peak perfection. Of course I would appreciate it if we kept the Solettes off the floor in the first place. Just beyond here is the banquet hall. If you wish to head inside, I'll be sure to serve you the finest tea the Cayenne family has to offer. I truly hope you enjoy your time here.
nothing. Okay, so we can now visit the Duke. When we arrived in order with the Imperial government, we were criticized to Gehenna and back by its residents. On top of that, our deplorable behavior toward the Empress and her weakened state no less eats me right away at me. But now the governor has earned some trust from the citizens and her highness is recovering. I hope to refresh myself as well. It's best to face whatever turmoil the war will bring. Ornus is the location of the Noble Faction's headquarters. We are in a great position to take action, fully knowing the position of the nobles. We can forget the bad blood between us and all work together for the peace of the Empire and society as we know it. I'm glad you're here. Since you've been through a lot, but it's relief to say you're all safe. Thank you. But the way you put it, it sounds like you must be aware of our situation. Yes, I may have heard something about it. It made me sick when I heard that the meeting between the country leaders had been attacked. However, it seems a certain individual showed up in his new airship to save the day. Perhaps it's just best to say I'm glad we were all safe. You do know a lot. The situation isn't great, but we've been in trust with everyone's hopes. We have to do what we can to be a beacon of light for them. I'll be looking forward to you doing so, then. The momentum pushing us toward war is increasing even here in Ordus. I intend to monitor it myself. That and watching over the Empress. She must be worried. Why don't you go and say hello? You should be able to find her in the banquet hall. I see. Rian, do you mind if we take a little detour? Not at all. Banquet hall straight down this corridor. Please go ahead and explain the situation to her highness. So, now that area has unlocked. <laughs> Boy. With his blessing, we can go to the banquet hall. Let's, do you want to see the Empress? Yes. A servant showed Rean and the others at the banquet hall. You can see Toa is completely in casual wear there. It's a pleasure to see you all again. And even more so that you made it through under the circumstances. It was nothing really, Your Highness. It's an honor to make your acquaintance again, Your Highness. I'm glad to see you're well. I suppose you've heard all about what's happened to us. Yes, thanks to Governor Regnitz, I have all the main details of your exploits. Reunite with your friends and Alf and accompany you on your journey. And even more importantly, that dear Oliver to save. Seems like you heard it all. We were just as relieved and maybe even more surprised. He's helping us find a third path to walk. I don't know how much we can help as our country marches into war. We're going to do everything we can as members of Thoris to stop this awful tragedy. I'm grateful to hear that. You have all done so much to help me, and yet I can't do anything in return. If only I could have told His Majesty about this. I heard that the date of the operation is close. Yes, that's right. Sometime within the next few days, apparently. All I can do is pray to Adios for the operation to be a success. Your Highness, you can tell she really loves the Emperor. Yes, we did hear that a lot has happened. We'll also offer prayers for his swift recovery. Thank you, all of you. Please look out for Oliver, Dalphin, and Cedric, too. We will, Your Majesty. I'm so happy to hear you all say that. If only I could tell His Majesty about this. You must have your hands full. Please look after Oliver, Dalphin, and, Alfin and Cedric for me. Count Floral, so I remember... Let's see... I just went to pour some tea for the master. I've never seen him look so anguished. Ah, oh, excuse me. That isn't something a mate should be saying. It's a maid's duty to support her master no matter what else is going on. I intend to do just that. So everyone else is upstairs. It's a shame that it's come to this. I imagine the neutral families will be forced to reconsider their principles. We can at least soften the blow with a careful release of information. I know she's worried about my lady, but the job of a maid at times like these is to support the master of the house. I'm fine. I have a few letters I need to prepare and send as soon as possible. I see. Please do not push yourself too hard. The master has so many worries and anxieties, but he has good cause given the circumstances. Lives so many are in his hands, and he doesn't know which way the war is going to take us. Oh, it's him. It seems the Operation Meal Mirage is finally in play. So you heard. He certainly holds his own as a representative of the current noble faction. I admit there was a part of me holding out hope. That if he could stop this tragedy, it would be the next Duchess of Cayenne and Lady and General Le Guin. Count Florald. Worry not, it was a long shot by any means. But since the four great houses cannot act, all I can do is fulfill my duty as a representative of the noble faction. You should tread the path that you believe in. Please give my regards to my children. Right, and also that popular musician you're acquainted with. With pleasure, sir. I'll do everything it takes to achieve what Thor sets out to do. 
master of so many worries and anxieties, but he has good cause given the circumstances. Let us so many in his hands, he doesn't which way the war's gonna take us. Was it leaves? Right, that's a mission, or a side quest thing. So now we can do Parm. We'll start here. You may find it hard to believe I've been called on to join the army as an engineer. They must be desperate to draft an old man like me. My shop will stay open, so don't worry about that. Mr. Gallant promised to look after it. Nothing new there. It's my second visit here, four months since the first. Never thought it would be like this. My boyfriend was drafted before I knew what I was doing as I'm away to this town where we'd been on a trip together. She has for memories isn't productive in any way, though. Many stores in Parm had to close. This man got drafted into the army. Everyone's really struggling right now. Sometimes I wonder if it's really okay for me to continue like nothing is happening. Okay, do we have a recipe here? Bertrand asked me to look after the place until he returns from the war. Securing supplies is no easy task, but I've got good neighbors who are letting me buy some from them. Catan started helping out recently, but he's not here at the moment. He said he was going to the church with Clover. Oops. No one's upstairs. Let's go to drums. I had a feeling it was coming, but my draft card finally arrived. I'm trying to cram in as much weaving as I can before it's time to leave. I practically glue myself to this loom. Poor Lou's going to have to manage all this on her own soon, so I want to lighten the workload as much as I can in the meantime. Not as naive as to have thought my husband would somehow avoid getting drafted. But when it actually happened, I was anything but ready. Unlike me, he just quietly accepted it. I don't know if I'd prefer it if he swore in rage against his fate instead. see fewer and fewer men in Parm, and yet the conscriptions continue. At this rate, it'll just be women chilling and the elderly here. Mr. Gallagher's stretching himself thin, helping everyone. I wish we could do something for him. Gallagher's taking over the tavern while the owner's away, did you hear? I've got no doubts he can manage it, but it'll be a darn shame if he let his dying skills get rusty. I like having him as my arch-rival. And I'm not seeing anything upstairs, so we'll be on our way. Nothing that we need on the by road. I don't know if there's anyone gonna be in the manager's residence since he's in the inn. Nope, completely empty. I don't know if I've ever seen that in this game to date where a house is actually completely empty that you're able to go into. Nothing that we need on the by road, so all that's left is hitting up the chapel. Hmm. This looks like a good spot to cast a line. Sure it is, Rain, sure it is. Father Hobbits has been keeping our morale up with his inspirational sermons. Adios will provide guidance for us if we only seek her. My faith is strong again. May Katan, Katan's father return home soon. May Katan be able to find happiness. Father Hobbits told me lots of stuff about Adios and old legends. I'll do my best too, even though Dad can't be here for a while. I'll probably cry sometimes, but I'll do my best for my Dad's sake. I sat with the children listening to Father Hobbits' stories all day. Story Day is a public reading of tales based on Adios' teachings arranged for young children. They both looked so at ease listening to them. Father Hobbins is so wise to think of this. Well, well, have you come to join in on Story Day? It must be utterly incomprehensible for children to lose their parents to war. I should try reaching out to them with Adios' compassion at the very least. And with that, we've explored everything there is in Parm. Off to St. Ark. We'll start with the cathedral. So yeah, I had to stop doing this so many times, I genuinely have no idea how long this segment is. <laughs> I am running out of hard drive space, though, so it's kind of got to be up there. I hear the 1st and 16th armor divisions are mustering the forces of the Titus Gate. Must be signed up to advance to Calvary from the Liberlian border. 
At the rate things are going, the whole continent may be consumed by this great war. Considering the disparity in military capabilities, human casualties are inevitable. I plan to consult with Marquis Hiram on how he can support those who survive the war. I'm real busy. My wife and I's delivery service for a luxury grocery store is back up and running. After my truckers' requisition, I'm sure I'd hit the... I was sure I'd hit the end of the road on it. But Rosamine knocked the sense back into me, and I brought a new one from Glastonco. Gotta hustle out there now. I don't want to put any more stress on my wife than she already has. Hey, did you hear? Miss Fiona came to the concert, and she taught me so much. Just need to get the beat, and it'll be perfect. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Matching with the beat is tough. Ed and I submerged a radish in water and began to sprout leaves. Apparently all you need is a simple radish stem, you can cultivate leaves that are just as edible as the veggie itself. Never would know if I hadn't looked it up. It's quite a bit fun to learn about light little life hacks like that. I do not know if that's true or not. I know if a potato sprouts leaves, do not eat it. <laughs> I heard that they were requisitioning grain from my contacts back in the food agency. They said there's nothing we can do at this point but cooperate. The way things are, it's only a matter of time before bread becomes a luxury item. Or, no, if we don't put proper priority on our food supplies, the country has no future. Dear, how will we speak to Marquis Balad? Yes, it couldn't hurt to try, at least. I'm sorry, my dear, I know I should say we enjoyed the last years of our lives in peace, but now this arises. Well, I've been waiting for you to retire and come home for the last 30 years. Waiting a little longer won't make that much of a difference. You've always been there for me. Thank you, Theod Theora, for everything. No, no, you better get going, don't you think? The dahlias I've been looking after in my master's place are blooming beautifully. If only he could have seen them. I let my mind wander under such a depressing train of thought. I'll have to pick one of these and press it. That way he'll see how well they turn out when he gets back. And there'll be so much more. I'll make this the loveliest garden all of Zemuria. I spoke with Dinah, and half of our harvest is going directly to her stall. Hopefully they'll bring in the mirror we need to plant our next crop. First we'll do everything we can to revitalize the stall. Rekka and I are running this little stall together now. I reviewed how the stall was being managed till now to see if we could keep it going. It's no longer an inventory problem, we're still only getting on by the skin of our teeth. Okay... We spoke to her. Let's hit up the cathedral first, we'll hit up the hotel then, and just do a circle of sorts. Thank you for such a generous contribution. Please allow me to offer my gratitude. Don't worry, the Archbishop will already thank me. I swear that wouldn't just be the medicine you need, but gauze and bandages. I just hope my contribution will help you restock. Thank you so much for your concern. We'll use your donation wisely. I want to do my part, so I wrote a letter to my father and had him some money donated to the cathedral. Normally, this probably a need to consider profit when moving Mira, but helping those in need is the most important. Is mo the most someone has an experience to me can manage. Felicia has donated an incredible sum to the cathedral. We are so grateful for her desire to help us. I finally finished tilling the soil. I've decided to cultivate olives this patch. Vegetables and trees require different methods, so there's tons of studying I have to do. Why do I want to plant olives? That's a secret. Everyone's depressed before the war, but no matter what trials we face, we must keep pushing forward. More and more people are being conscripted for the war effort. Fortunately, there are many brave folks here, but I'm sure they're nearing their breaking point, even if they're not showing it. Just hope that we can bring some relief to everyone's hearts just like the performance earlier. When I ran out of herbs, a merchant called you Clace, who visits sometimes, helped me out. Thanks to him, I should be able to make the salve that the Ruhr Church needs. He's an interesting young person. He has as deep an understanding of medicine as I do, and knowledge of many traditions and legends. For a time, I suspect he had some relationship with the Grawls Ritter. There are so many interesting young folk these days. You Clace, could that be the guy from your Aaron Village? He's supporting St. Ark in secret as a regular person? That gives me some confidence. Indeed, my own mother used to do similar things as a wandering witch. I'm grateful that the Archbishop would say such a thing. We've had a lot more guests arguing with each other, but when the manager talks to them, they end up calming down for some reason. His nonchalant laid-back attitude is actually saving us for once. I'm sure he'll manage to take care of that argument over there, too, so there's no need for you to worry. You say that General Le Guin is part of the rebel forces? Know your place, commoner. I haven't heard anything about General Le Guin from the newspapers or the radio, I was just saying it was suspicious. Exactly. Weren't you implying that the General is part of the rebellion by saying that? The government announced that General Le Guin is at the front line waiting for an opportunity. This is seriously detrimental to the war morale. Manager, call the Imperial Defense Force immediately. Come now, please calm down. You both seem to have expectations, General Le Guin. We don't have much information. Why don't you discuss what you need to do now calmly? 
you have a point. Maybe it's good to hear the positive rumors. I'll bring you some tea. I hope you find common ground. They're concealing the existence of the Viceland army with that kind of excuse, huh? I'm secretly a fan of General Logwin. If she's willing to give me information about her, I might be willing to forgive him. They say that ignorance is a sin. I'm forgiving him, so I'll impart some knowledge onto him. It's just like they say about being close enough to argue. Something about something like this will be resolved through a rational conversation later on. Still, it must be tough for the manager to mediate for everyone. Guess I can give him something sweet as a refreshment later. Okay, she walked over there. I'm not seeing anyone on the second floor, so we are done in this area, I think. Oh, the Albion, I missed that one. I'm actually going to turn around and walk out, because there's two things I want to check. The first is, are there any NPCs in front of here? And yes, that did reset that, so we may not have actually seen everything there. The yeah, we already spoke to Woodward. I remember that one. We've had so many orders and repair requests for military uniforms from Tynus Gate recently, though they only had a handful of troops stationed there to watch the board of the world. For some reason, we have orders for new recruit uniforms from the 1st Armored Division and the 16th Armored Divisions. I'd rather not think about it, but they are, are the Armored Divisions going to pass through the Kingdom of the world to wage war on Calvert? There's a lot we can deduce, but perhaps it's best if we didn't interest ourselves too much in military matters. I've only been hearing bad things about Claystonco recently. People are saying they're in league with the government and are covering up illegal activity. They were so popular, but now they disappoint so many. I want to eventually visit Clay Small, but in light of recent news, I think I won't. That's just so disappointing. The delivery service I operate with my husband is starting up again. Recently, my husband's truck was requisitioned by the military. But just happened that Clay Snickle and Managing Director Hugo's orders began to support business owners in the flow of goods. My husband borrowed a truck from the company, so he's been able to resume his deliveries. I had no idea what we were going to do for a while. I'm glad I'm going to work hard with my husband to make this relaunch a success. So, did I look over here? I actually want to go back to her store in a second. My jacket. Yeah, there's nothing to do there. So, at Clayston Co., a lot of their stuff was priced at 41 and I want to show that hers should be... Ah, hers are 44 so it's actually cheaper at Clayston Co. than here. Huh. Thing is, it's a fairly minimal difference. The bookstores in the capital are voluntarily removing books, publishing Calvary from their displays. Even those Calvarian books never did anything wrong. As a second-hand bookseller as an, as, and as a book lover, I just can't believe it. The world of books should be free, regardless of what the international political climate is like at the time. Nothing we need. To be honest, I'm not really expecting there to be a lot of stuff for us to pick up here. It's just odds and ends, a gift here or there, maybe. Oh hey, to Toval paid me a secret visitor just earlier. He was doing much better than I thought he'd be. It was such a relief, but he really does cause, like to cause a scene, huh? Toval should appear? Yeah, I used to provide some assistance to the Guild St. Ark branch back in the day, so Toval and I were well acquainted. The branch may be gone, but there still needs to be somebody to sort the help requests and provide weapons to the bracers. We've also been collaborating with the Legrand branch in certain cases. I see. Makes sense. I knew that you were cooperating with the Guild. Didn't know there was a connection with the Legrand branch, though. This gives me a newfound appreciation for Miles and all the work he does with the Legrand branch to sustain his information network. I heard about your situation. I can't do much, but I hope to fully support you and the bracers. If you ever need weapons or armor, you're always welcome to my store. Thank you very much. I'm relieved to know the Toval's safe, but things are going to get even more serious as the war draws near. I'll do what I can to make sure you've got your wings of your own to fly with. Okay, now we're done there. Residential district. Isn't the Emperor's surgery happening soon? Empress Priscilla and Princess Alpha must be beside themselves with worry. There may still be Calvardian spies around, so it may be difficult for them to go outside. But I really hope the two of them are able to pay the Emperor a visit soon. I see. I see. His Majesty's. It'd be great if we could visit the Emperor, too. I don't know if that's a typo or if she was supposed to be stressing that word. Check out the Orbital Factory. I still have my friend asked Dad for a story again. He was weirdly happy. I don't actually have any interest in his old tales, I just want to get my mind off things. There are lots of people coming to make orbit adjustments because of all the wild monsters, but rationing makes getting new stock difficult. It's not a rebellious phase or anything, okay? I was surprised when Quill wanted to hear some stories. Said he couldn't get into the swing of things if I didn't, so it seems his rebellious phase has ended pretty quickly. 
Oh, and lately, all the plants in my store have begun withering. Said that things like this are harbingers of ill tidings, but in reality, war's almost upon us. I can't help but feel it really was an omen. Maybe you should try watering them, just saying. Might be a good place to start. Gate is locked. No one has anything to uh, contribute. I've got a lot of people who will be leaving for the army stopping by these days. They come and sell their precious heirlooms and artworks so they can leave some mirror behind for their families while they're away. Just the other day, a man came with the watch his grandfather had given him. It's painful to imagine the amount of hardship my customers must be going through to part with such treasured valuables. Someone's actually using a pendulum at the moment. I can afford the 15 new materials for that one. I'm not going to go crazy with that one, though. We actually have someone using a pendulum. A green one. Yeah, we'll upgrade that. Basically, I'm trying to get a couple things in some sort of order so that I... Hold on. Now we don't need that. Uh, trying to get some stuff in order in case I have to use a party that's less than optimal. So yeah, that prismatic cape I just bought, I can actually upgrade into a cherry corsage. I have three of these. Why do I... Why am I using the cape, then? I'm gonna get one of these. I'm not gonna lie, this one's pretty tempting with the strength and the accuracy. It actually does block a nasty status effect, which... could be decent. Could be. Right, I was looking at another ingenuity, wasn't I? Okay, we actually do have two. Okay, what else are we looking for? Yeah, I don't think I'm going to bother with Suzaku or anything, unless it just happens to fall into my lap. <laughs> Which one did I get? Carnelia. Yeah, with the, uh... 18 crit rate you get out of that, I'd say that's... better than the Carnelia. But hey, it's free, I'll take it. EP gradually recovers, so we need the Ingenuity, but we need the Zerul Cannon, which... Water has sucked ever since they uh, went over to the Master Court system. <laughs> it used to be the best element back when Mind was part of it, but yeah. See, I'm just gonna be on my way. I'm not gonna worry about any of that for the time being. There is still something I need to trade when we get to the Merkaba, or not the Merkaba, the Courageous. Old habits and all that, you know? Okay, Oral Factory, that one's done. Wonder, Albert, and Kaiser Dice. Hope the train in Nord is going alright. My contact managed to persuade the supervisor at Center Gate. He managed to get them to Nord safely. Many have left Nines because of their public image, while others have been conscripted. They're the only hope left for the club. If we all have hope to have a future after the war, it's my, in my best interest to make sure they're thriving out there. I got a response from Nash. Krull, I had no idea you were so madly in love with me. I can't promise I'll marry you, but if I come back from the war in one piece, I wouldn't mind going out with you. What the hell kind of fantasy world is that dummy living in? What does he mean, if he comes back in one piece? Enough of the hero act, Nash. Cut the crap and just come home already. Okay, we have one last building. Unfortunately, it's a big one, but we're almost done. And then we will have spoken to everyone outside of the quest crap. Ah, 
Oh crap, I forgot all about that one, so yeah. Damn it. Mom and Dad wrote a letter saying that we should devote ourselves to the Empire, and that soldiers should die for the greed of Erebonia if that's what it needs. That's just so wrong. Mom and Dad are so wrong about all this. I agree, Ron. We can't treat them we can't treat human life as dispensable. From what I could tell in their letter, they're planning to come pick you up in a few days. So please remember this. Don't lose sight of what you know is right, and be sure to follow your heart. Mom and Dad can't be right. No way. It's like they don't even care that Traff is being drafted means he might never come back. I don't want him to die. I don't know why they changed so, so much, but I can't go along with them. I'm so proud of Ron for not letting what her parents said get to her. They should learn a lesson or two from her and change this way of thinking that they're so absorbed in. Anyone in the branch? Nope. I'll see ya in Noble District. And there's something over there. I get it, you're worried about your dad going off with the army. And you're mad because it seems like your mom doesn't care, right? Yes, that's why we're fighting. But I think that your mom is really very upset. Why would you say that? During the Civil War, both my mom and dad protected us, but they were taken to me they were taken to be by Adios' side. I cried to my big sister every day. But she wouldn't cry. She tried to cheer me up instead. But one night when I woke up in the middle of the night, I saw her crying. That's why I think your mom really does want to cry, but she's staying strong for you. Then I was being mean. Indeed you were, kid. If mom was putting on a smile to try and make me feel better, then I really said something horrible to her. Mom, I'm sorry. I feel like I actually made things worse. Was I any help to Timothy? So here's his sister. Ever since the mass was conscripted, Timothy has been so worried. Both the mistress and I have tried our best to cheer him up. It's just, it's just had the opposite effect. Richie is now our last hope. I wonder if it'll work. Now that his lordship has returned, the master has a bit more room to breathe. It's such a relief, supporting arts, the noble pursuit, but he's working himself to death. Even now, he must be under so much pressure, what with the government requesting substantial funding. That's where I come in. It's my job to use his mind by serving him the most delicious tea I can muster. It's been a while since we got a break together. Things have been hectic of late. I heard that you got a message from Mary the other day. I, d I did. It sounds like they've implemented a full-scale military training curriculum over at Thor's. She's in charge of training for the new type of Panzer Soldats. My poor girl must be stressed beyond belief. My darling daughter is instructing in the use of deadly weapons? This is exactly why I was against her becoming an instructor at a military academy. That does it. My sweet, kind-hearted -of kind -of girl will participate in this foolish war no longer. I'll get in touch with the principal and... Please calm down, dear. The other instructors have been helping Mary however they can. It sounds like she's in the clear now. Well, as long as she's safe. By the by, speaking of instructors, I trust she's not been propositioned by the never-do-wells among the faculty. You really do dote on that girl. My husband will never stop doting on our daughter, no matter how old she gets. I wonder what I should tell him that Mary has fallen for someone. Now that you mention, I wonder what Alistair is doing. This is the first time he's gone into a creative slump since the incident, isn't it? Ah, you mean back when Alistair was in love with a young lady from a different class? When she tragically perished in an unforeseen accident, he lost his spark for a while. His talent is one for the history books. It'd be a shame if, we, if he let his artistic sensibilities languish. took him for a nag, but he turned out to be a sensible man. Very well, I accept your offer. Charles signed the agreement. Charles? You gullible idiot. Didn't you notice the carpet paper underneath, did you? You signed two deals at once, you fool. And guess what the one you haven't si seen entails? What are you talking about? You just donated all your land to me. I'm going to sit to put your tenants to work. Have a summer cottage built here and whatnot. War is not my game. My plan is to live comfortably right here, and that's exactly what I'll do, thanks to you. I... Sorry to burst your bubble, but the contract you speak of is all soggy and illegible. What? But you didn't spill anything on the table. How did this happen? I suppose the tablecloth was still wet from when I washed it yesterday. The paper on the bottom got damp and the ink blotted all over. I... Charles got lucky this time. I don't think a signature on carbon paper is legally sound, but still, that was a very nasty scam. I didn't have time to dry that tablecloth properly, but it was only damp in a few places, so I thought they wouldn't notice. It's kind of embarrassing that they found out. 
When Lord Dendare revealed the carbon paper trick, I could feel all the blood drain from my face at once. But fortunately, we were saved by Izzy's clumsiness. Also, that ends well, but if it's all the same, I prefer not to have a conversation with my doctor about my blood pressure in the near future. I'm going to keep these documents. We can continue this conversation in court to Lord Dendare. No, hold on. The first office I made. You can at least accept that one, no? It's not a bad deal for you. Can we sell this outside of court? I beg you. And that's just a repeat. I have not seen anything upstairs. No. So, uh, there may be someone in the street, so I'll actually walk it. No one in there, that's a wall. Marky Hirams isn't here today. There are some other visitors today, too. If you have business with Marky Balad or Marky Hirams, you may proceed. So, do we have to speak to a chain of people? Nope, never mind. Marky High Arms. I was under the impression that you were in hiding. No apologies for the intrusion. I want to have a meeting in secret. Do you mind if I use this space? A secret meeting? Make yourself comfortable. This is your mansion, after all. This golden haired young lady, I don't think I've had the pleasure. It's nice to meet you. I'm Lucy Salen, secretary of the Grand Prince of the Principality of Rimaferia. Today I'm speaking on half of the Grand Prince. Rimaferia, I do have some information on the movements of the country. I thought they joined an alliance with Mildine to take part in the war. I wonder why they're renegotiating why they're negotiating with high arms. So that means Rimaferia is still keeping themselves open to other options. Marquis Balad, would it be possible to speak with you? I know that his lordship is well informed of the situation in all aspects. I hope you use your great wisdom to help advise us on the best way forward. Alright, Wilhelm. You have abundant experience when it comes to political maneuvering, this is easy. Well, of course, I will definitely offer you the best advice I possibly can. Do you mean it? Thank you so much. Come now, time is of the essence, let's make our way. Sure, let's use the office. I'm impressed how easily you persuaded him. It's due in no small part to the efforts of your lordship. I wonder what else he could do for us. Shall we get going? Our timing is near perfect. Secretary Lucy is playing me with the two marquee. It does look like it's about Operation Meal Mirage. Hmm. She's in the office. This might be a good time to visit her. I'm just so glad that Master's back. According to what I heard, the airship his lordship was in got hijacked. I'm ashamed that I was enjoying my life quietly, passing by while the Master was in such a predicament. I'm going to make sure that all the servants are better trained to preserve the Master, and they must spell servant there, I think. I'm so happy Master's returned. I knew I shouldn't have to worry about Master because Mr. Celestin was with him, but seeing him happy and well, I can't help but feel giddy. They won't let you go that way. Probably won't let you go over here either. So yeah, let's go crash stuff in his office. The daughter of an honorable Ramaphirian family and Lord High Arms. An interesting pair, to be sure. Their timing is perfect. I had grown weary of hearing about the government in Viceland. Now let's see what kind of juicy tidbits I can extract from this lot. I'm pleased to hear you safely reunited with Prince Olivert. You had a hand in making the courageous two happen, right? My involvement's only recent. Marquis Ragnar reached out to me in secret and listened to my help. I see. Is the reason Lucy's here related to that? She's here for a different reason, but we're also working to find a solution to things. I've heard about your latest undertakings. The current state of affairs doesn't leave much room for optimism, does it? Still, I ask that you allow us to place our hopes on you as well. Of course, please feel free to do so. Why, well, hello, everyone. Who'd imagine we'd run into each other again so soon? Good to see you again, Lucy. Sorry if I interrupted your talk. I didn't mean to be a bother. Don't be silly. You're not a bother at all. Besides, things we're discussing here today affect you just as much as they do us. It's hard to argue with that. But putting that aside for now, I've been traveling a lot lately, so I picked up a very interesting novel to read in transit. It's in Room of Furious that immediately caught my attention, that being said. Would you mind taking it off my hands? My bags are heavy enough as it is, and it would be nice to know it's going to a good home. Okay, sure, I can't wait to give it a read. Thank you so much, here you are. So there you go, 3 and 9, Chapter 8. Now, if I were Kayla, you would have to check to make sure the book wasn't bugged. For us assured no gift I ever offer, you will ever contain any sort of listening device. Good to know, I guess? Thanks. So I think the characters of 3 and 9 are like the main characters of... 
Daybreak or whatever it's called. But is it even possible to stop the government's plans from going forward? To be blunt, preventing the war is no longer an option at this point. However, we can mitigate the damage now by preparing support structures for refugees and making plans for post-war restoration. Which leaves us with much more to worry, much more to think about than if we only had to worry about stopping it. She's right, the war will bring with it a great deal of disorder. Though, given how many people in power are politically gagged at the moment, incautious behavior may well put a target on our backs. I suppose you have a point. The fate of the world is still up in the air. What kind of prospects will we have when the dust finally clears? So yeah, I think with that, we are done. So I'm going to hop over to the hall and... Yep. So when we pick up next time, we're going to start knocking out these quests. I don't know which one we're going to start with, but we'll find something. Anyway, I'm the Hero of Light. Thanks for watching.